Yeah, okay. Uh, first, congratulate the Red Star for the victory. I think they start the game very well. Very good percentages. I think they were five or six from the three-point line. Some of them were very good contested, but okay, they have that quality. We saw the, the previous game, the first game, where Nedo showed up to beat Paris in Paris. Today, they got it at the beginning. So they have that lead, and they manage it well. Um, okay. Good and bad thing for my team is good. We were able to stay on the game until the end. I think we have an open jumper to get, I think, one point down with two or three minutes to go. We continue fighting. Our defense was solid. Okay, they have a lot of rotation. We were able to shut down some situations that they were difficult for us. But we need a little bit more continuity. What I mean with this, we cannot do one good thing in defense and then one bad thing in offense, and then one good, good thing in offense, one bad thing in defense. This is kind of normal at the beginning of the year on every team, but this is something that for us is going to be mandatory to improve if we want to compete like, uh, like we did today and if we want to go in, uh, win games in Euroleague. Thank you, Coach. Is there any questions for Coach Lasso? Molim vas, uzmite mikrofon i predstavite se. I need to translate. Rajko Djerbašć. Prisko televizija Čikago, da pozdravim gospodina Lasa kao jednog od najkorektnijih trenera ovaj, sa nama na Vinarima, od prvoga dana. Prvo je jedan od najkorektnijih trenera od prvoga dana sa nama na Vinarima, od prvoga dana. Hvala vam puno. Da mu poželim puno sreće u, u nastavku i, i dobro zdravlje pre svega. Hvala vam puno. E, pitao bih ga samo kako je vidio ovu ekipu zvezda, obzirom da on zvezdu zna i ranijih godina, kako je vidio ovu igru i tim zvezde u cijelini. I tim crvena zvezda u cijelini. Well, Red Star for me has one very good thing that is important in, at this high level. It's they have experience and they have players who can decide games. For example, Kalinic, Nedovic, um, um, Teo Dosic, who didn't play, Teo, for sure. So at the end, they, they control those situations and that makes them you know, very dangerous. If you really want to, let's say, beat them, you, have, you cannot wait for that moment because they will be ready. They have players who will be able to score, to create. Canaan is a little bit like this. So they have a very good roster to play that kind. This is why from the beginning I told my team we're going to have to work a lot to match them up because if we finish against them, they will wait for their moment. And this is why I see Red Star as a team that, that compete against everyone because they can always beat any team because they have that quality on every player. Znači, imaju dobar, vrlo iskusan tim igrače koji mogu da odluče, očigledno Kalinić, Nedović, Teodosić, coach iz Orepa, posle dodao i Kenana. Ono što je najvažnije je da skratim, dakle, odgovor, mogu da kontrolišu situaciju na kraju kada dođu u takvu situaciju. Rekao sam mojim igračima da moramo da radimo mnogo da ih ne bi doveli u takvu situaciju da mogu da kontrolišu kraj što su ju radili. Izvaredan tim za najviše nivo. Izvoli. Nikola Lalović Mondo, so coach, you played two Serbian teams at the start and obviously we want to know how do you see them, how different they are and Nevertheless, the results, but uh, who was tougher to play or, or tougher to, to get ready for? Yeah. Okay, I understand the question because we are in Belgrade. <laughs> Let's put it this way. They're totally different teams. Totally different. Partizan is a total new team. A lot of new players. Unbelievable physicality on every position. Red Star is very talented, also partisan, but partisan has players who have a lot of experience. So right now it's very balanced, and it would be very bad from me to say partisan looks better or Red Star looks better. It's too early in the season. I think both teams are very good. We beat partisan, doesn't mean anything. We lost against Red Star, doesn't mean anything. Uh, have a lot of respect for both teams, and we know how difficult it is to play in this arena. And, uh, and uh, hopefully, looking at my team, we have to be ready to match up these kind of teams. Uh, 
One more question. Uh, you said that it is difficult to play in this arena. It is for most players, but not for Marcus Howard. He dropped uh, more than 30 points in, in Belgrade in a couple of occasions. Yeah. Uh, what do you think uh, Red Star did today to contain him? Because this kind of uh, game for him is very, very rare at this EuroLeague level. Well, I think Marcus will need some time to get out his best shape, game shape, let's say. But what Red Star tried today is try to deny him the, from getting the ball. Okay, Marcus is a guy that if he gets the ball, he probably will score. So Red Star was very smart. But in Spanish we say, la sabana no puede tapar todo. So you try to deny Marcus Howard, there will be more space for others. And this is something that we have to learn as a team. Because for example, when we did it today, some players grow up just because everybody was looking at Marcus Howard. And this is something that we have to learn how to use it because it would be a great force for us. But for sure, Marcus, okay, today he was not his best game. He got three fouls in the first half, and this is something that he has to control for sure. Right now he's in the locker room and probably he's nervous because he thinks he can play better for sure. But I think everyone on my team can play better, and that would be our force during the year, trying to get better every day. Thank you. Izvolite, ima li još pitanja? Ima još jedno. Hello coach, Mark Lugomirović, Max Bet. Uh, two short questions. First, uh, how do you see your league teams and quality in league in this season? After last two, two rounds, well, is it, is it Yeah, your league is tough, very tough. Very athletic, players, probably physicality. And, um, and knowing that we're playing up to 74, 80 games. So, when you see the results of the weekend, then you think about how hard is this. Rest of it comes from losing against Split, no? Thalgiris lost in the local league. You we lost. lost in the local league. Uh, Milan, I think, last week they lost. Yeah, so, yes. that means that, okay, these games in Euroleague uh, force you to play at the level that we have, you have to keep it up if you want to beat those teams on the league, because those teams on the league are ready for you. And you have to be ready to face them every day. And this is something that we want to achieve. And it's not easy, but it's part of our job. We have to understand that we don't play, let's say, in the middle of the week, great game against Restar, and then weekend off. No, weekend, we're playing, and they're playing. So we have to understand that we have to be solid every night. Okay, and shortly about your decision to, to leave Mini and the Barney project mm -hmm. to join the, your former club, Osmania, mm -hmm. and it was a little bit unexpected. You know? Yeah, well, okay, I decided to leave. Finished. Uh, the thing to Basconia that they wait for me, because, in fact, sincerely, only my agent and my wife knew that I was going to leave. And, and, the, and the main reason is? Main reason is Victoria has better food. <laughs> <laughs> You're okay. I agree. Okay, hello. Nastro, the family.